Hello everyone, Sean here once again. It is March 29th, 2023, and we're back in our day, Wordle. Our bonus puzzle today is the Nerdle. As always, please take a moment to like and subscribe, it really does help me a lot. For now, let's get into today's puzzle. Alright, a T and an E. Let's find out if there's a double E. Um, let's go with the word these. Aha, there is a double E, and they're going to go blank E, blank E. So T has to go at the end. So we have limited this quite a bit. So can, I know S can go in the middle. Uh, can S go first? I don't believe so. But we can put it in the middle. Reset is already out, but B set is still in. So let's go with the word beset. Perfect. There it is. Another three. Absolutely love it. Twenty three. Three is required to catch up to the fives. This is going to be a, a long journey if I'm ever going to get there. I've been saying that for a while and seem to be slightly farther away than I, than I initially set out. All right. Wordlebot. Give me your uh, daily insight. 93 skill. 90 skill. 74 luck. Don't know why that changes so much. Uh, we have here... 135, so just slightly better than entry would normally do. Uh, but these, incredibly lucky, down to one. I think the double E was always a good guess there, but getting the getting the S as well, very lucky. So down to one, and that was B set. Wordlebot taking four here, not knocking out reset before B set. Slate heist. I mean, fairly good second guess there. I like I like heist. Um, Wordlebot had the S T and E. Did not have the second E that I did in the uh, in the second guess. So, going to reset, checking for that double, and then be set. Great. Let's move on to the nerdle. Four times three plus zero is twelve. All right, we do have a multiplication. So theoretically, we could have a three-digit number. The lowest it could be would be two, two, two. Let's let's find out what we can do here. Let's see. I think it'd probably be better if we went with another operator and tried to find subtraction or division here. Because at this point, what we've got is basically we could do 50 times 5. Lowest would be 55 times 5, which would yield 275. It's actually not a bad second guess. If there is a five, we'll absolutely knock it out. If there's not, we're in trouble. Um, let's increase this by 10. So let's change this to 57, which will change this to 285. That gets more, um, more interesting numbers on the board. Let's try that. All right, no, but we did find some good information about this five. And we found an eight. So what we have here is a single digit answer. The multiplication will not, well, I guess it could go here. We could always have something like this. It's not gonna be 28, but we could do 2 divided by uh, 
eight, so a quarter basically of twenty eight would be seven. It's not going to be the answer, obviously, but it could do something like this. Um, so uh, that's just moving the uh, multiplication over by one column. Uh, we could also have that one be here instead. Most likely starting with a double digit and then having subtraction or division here of a single digit number. So that's the that's the structure I'd like to pursue. So have, we haven't actually tested the double two. I just put that in there for example, but we haven't tested it. So let's try and throw that 22 in there. And then if we have multiplication here, We're not going to be able to multiply anything unless it's by 2. Now we have an 8 and a 5. So we'd have to put those somewhere in here. Which is not going to work. Because we are constrained to this. So that means that 22 can't be over here. Because we can't constrain ourselves to that because we will not end up with any sort of correct answer over here. So, what if we do 25 minus 2 times 8? Where does that get us? That'll be something like this. <gasps> no way. Oh, <laughs> wow. What luck. What absolute luck to get that in three. I mean, there were some clues to get me in the right, in the right way, but there were a lot of options left. Wow. All right. I will take it. I will absolutely take that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me a lot. And share this video with anyone if you can enjoy some daily word puzzles. That's all for now, and we will see you all tomorrow.